K-pop is the revolution. What if there was one person responsible for your favorite K-pop songs from Big Bang, 21, and Blackpink? There is, and his name is Teddy. I like to think that he's the brains behind Blackpink and their success that people don't really talk about. Why? Well, Teddy has been Blackpink's producer since the very beginning. But what is that special sauce that Teddy brings to Blackpink's music that makes it work so well, like candy to our ears? Today, let's dive into the person behind the music of Blackpink. And before we get this started, only 18% of people that watch my videos are subscribed to the channel. If you already enjoy my content, hit that subscribe and the bell so you don't miss a brand new video. Okay, so Teddy was born in Korea but moved to New York and eventually California during his high school days. Finding interest in piano at first, then playing guitar and beatboxing until falling in love with hip hop. Teddy and his friends, including a boy named Danny M, started performing together. Both Teddy and Danny were discovered by a producer who had them audition and send in demo tapes to their company. This company was YG Entertainment, and I think that's what made Teddy have a great sense of style and sound. He had the pulse on the American hip hop scene in the 90s, and he brought that to YG. Now, YG Entertainment wasn't the big name we know now back then, but with the style YG is known for, Teddy just fit right in. He was one of the four members that made up YG time a hip-hop group with his high school friend Danny which is a really dope thing to see one time was one of the few groups focused on hip-hop music in Korea and the timing seemed to be perfect when their debut album one time for your mind was a best-selling album of the year with major awards to his name <laughs> One time brought a whole new genre to the ears of the Korean public, and the group picked up many music show wins with over 780,000 album sales. The group would disband in 2006, but Teddy was just getting started. Teddy was brought in to help upcoming and existing artists in YG Entertainment, many of which were older than he was since he was only 22 years old when he started producing music full time. Teddy eventually became the lead in house producer at YG Entertainment, first working with the solo artist Seven, then G Dragon on the singles for the group Big Bang, like Summer Glow, then Taeyang's solo music promotion of the EP Hot. Teddy attached his name to many of the songs like Only Look At Me. Soon after, YG was planning a girl group like K-pop hasn't seen before. Working on the collaboration track Lollipop between Big Bang and the brand new group 21. Lollipop was a little viral when it was used in a commercial for LG, exposing even more people to the taste of YG's style and Teddy's style, which has at this point became one big thing. When 21 debuted, they were like Teddy's first big project. He went on to produce and help for the arrangement of a massive 21 songs across three of 21's albums. 21, oh my, coincidence? From their debut album to anyone in 2009, to their last album Crush in 2014. Even producing 21 CL Solo, The Baddest Female. Teddy was so invested in his little sister's 21 that he turned down a request to work with Lady Gaga. However, 21 would go on a big hiatus that was completely drawn out and they finally disbanded in 2016. Teddy was left without a group to develop a trademark sound for. There was a void of creativity for Teddy. Sure, he can go ahead and produce for other artists, but YG Entertainment had a better plan. The company established a sub-label, an independent label that handles artists that would technically be a part of YG Entertainment. This new label needed someone to run it. In steps Teddy and another YG producer, Kush, which uh, after he got in trouble for, you know, substances, uh, he stepped away from the black label and it's just Teddy now. Fast forward in the black label, Teddy would take charge of a solo artist that just moved from JYP Entertainment. Teddy worked with Stomi on her solo debut in 2019 and her comeback last year. Back at YG, Teddy took on the big challenge of Big Bang's massive comeback after four years since the group released anything new. Remember the Maid series? 
a monster of a comeback project for Big Bang, breaking up releases into four EPs and one big album, with new original releases every month from May of 2015 all the way through to 2016. Teddy's name appears in every single track in the project except for If You. I remember when all of this came out. The project was so insane but brilliant at the same time. It got everyone excited for what was happening next month. And Big Bang with Teddy? They didn't disappoint. But now we come to the point of this video. 2016 came along. Now, any group that debuts in one of the big K-pop companies will have major press and coverage, and it makes their members, producers, managers, and company feel that much more pressure to debut and debut well. Just how 21 was Teddy's muse, Blackpink was the beginning of the future. But Blackpink couldn't just be 21 Part 2. They had to be Blackpink. How would Teddy achieve this? After I sat down and listened to every Blackpink title track where Teddy was a producer, it boils down to three things. Simplicity. The buildup. And the bass. Bumbaya to As If It's Your Last followed a simple kick snare with a heavy bass keeping it simple to allow Blackpink's vocals to shine through. But then, doo 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 happened, which threw everything I said out of the window. Halfway through the track, Teddy went for the dramatic. Teddy countered the heavy bass with the highs of sirens or guitar riffs, which act as both a counter to the heavy bass, but also building on the tension. There is a feeling you get when listening to tracks like Tudu Tudu and Teddy continue with the dramatic in later releases like Kill This Love, which played on the horns in the intro and chorus to add drama and payoff as the listener. On top of getting you to feel nervous in a good way, like something was coming and you just couldn't stop it, which was Blackpink breaking into America. Impactful and dramatic, that is Blackpink in a nutshell. Teddy really achieved that, and how you like that carried the same energy, but Blackpink isn't a one-trick pony as a lot of people like to say, and Teddy made sure of that when Love Sick Girls was released. Just how he relied on the heavy bass to create the impact, the guitar in this song acted the same way. Still making it fun and exciting with an accompanying bass, sure, but Lovesick Girl is a different shade than Blackpink's recent tracks. It's all original and it's all from the mind of Teddy. In a similar way, Teddy also helped with the promotion of Jenny Solo and Rose Solo. And it's safe to say that he would do the same thing for Lisa and Jisoo Solos. Teddy the producer is a quiet, reserved person. With no known social media, even finding footage of him was difficult for this video. But Teddy came in at the perfect time for YG and K-pop. Watching Big Bang, 21, and Blackpink grow from the beginning, he made YG artists known for that signature sound you can't find anywhere else. When he's in charge of a group's music, he will put in the time to do it right. And what I found out is that Teddy doesn't look for the spotlight, he creates it. <laughs> 